In preparation for my new turtle programs with Snake Discovery, I ordered two new kinds of turtles that live here in Minnesota and Wisconsin so that I can teach with them. And they just arrived, so let's open them up and check them out. Holy cow. We have stickers and pamphlets. Ooh, a magnet? This is awesome. Huh, we use and recommend Zoomhead, which I do use, I suppose. Water turtles. You don't need these rubber bands, though. What else do we have? Oh good, there's nice heat packs. They're still warm too. Holy cow, talk about freebies. Look at all of this. Oh rep sticks. This is what this is the other part I use actually. Although I use Tetra brand brand. I'll have to check out this brand too. Who is this? Oh, here's the Washita map turtle. Oh, perfect. And I had requested a male too, so I can show off their longer claws at my programs. Hey, buddy. He's of course scared, but he looks healthy. I'll have to get him in some water to uh, warm him up. But here he is, tucked in his shell, of course. Now, you can tell the Washita's apart from other map turtles based on their head markings, um, but it's obviously hard to tell right now since he's in his shell. But I'm going to let them warm up to room temperature before I even start warming them up to uh, my basking temps. And this should be an eastern musk turtle, also known as the stink pot. Oh my gosh, you are adorable! Look at you! You have a really domed carapace. This is Wisconsin's smallest native turtle species. And he is a cutie. Look at that hooked beak. And these are kind of ground, well, they, they hang out at the bottom of the water. Uh, and they actually use, since they're a denser turtle, they have to use plants to climb up to get to the surface of the water. So I've added some plants to my uh, turtle aquariums to help them out. They also have a hinged shell. So this part can move, as well as the front. There's two hinges here, and so they can really close up all the way. You were very well fed. Look at those fat pockets. Show you a couple close-ups of them. This is the Washita map turtle. His shell's a little bit dry, of course, because he's been in shipment, but he should be fine. Everything looks good. Good. No discharge at all from your nose or your eyes. Your eyes look very clear. And he is a male. See these long nails? That is a sign of a male along with his... Okay, I won't bug you. Uh, the cloaca is past the edge of the shell on males as well. Females will have their cloaca at the edge of their shell or even in slightly. I'll stop bugging you. I'll put you back. You can keep warming up. And this is our eastern musk turtle, also known as the stink pot. Got a little bit of a wound right there, but nothing nothing too serious, and that should heal up pretty quickly. Other than that, you look really good. You've been well fed, too. Look at you. Now, since they're called the stink pot, they do emit a foul odor when they are threatened, so hopefully he does not smell right now. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> It'll be a, a nice surprise, I'm sure, when he does emit that smell for the first time. And this is about full grown, too, by the way. They're Wisconsin's smallest native turtle. You're a cutie too. I don't know if you're a, you're probably a male. Kind of look like a male with that tail. We'll see. Wow, I was not expecting all of these freebies along with the turtles that I just bought. There's magnets, stickers, food samples, just a little bit of everything from ZooMed here, so thank you. And these are from turtlesandtortoises.com. It was my first time ordering through them, but they had really good customer service and it seemed like they had healthy animals and sure enough, these do look very healthy to me, and they were packaged well. You, of course, can't put water with aquatic turtles when you're shipping them because the water will slosh around 
and it could get them cold if the temperature outside is cold because that'll reduce the water temperature, which in turn cools them down. So they were packaged properly and I'm impressed. This was a good experience with turtles and tortoises. So I would definitely order from them again. After these two warm up to room temperature, I'll move them to my quarantine tank. And after quarantine, they'll go to my community tank with all my other turtles. And that's where I'll start using them in my programs. So maybe you'll see these guys at a program this summer. You're gonna regret getting a stink pot turtle. I'm going to stick up your whole house.